All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Harakakwadash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone of Ruel. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom to you. I'm your brother Shaqua from the um, Las Vegas church. Just want to go over this movie, okay? And uh, I, I may have done a review on this movie before, but more so now because we're seeing it coming into fruition, okay? The ideas that are in these movies are starting to uh, play out in uh, in the real world, okay, in reality. All right, so I'll play the commercial, and then I'll play the edge of the, you know, the opening scene of the movie. It'll be real brief with the opening scene of the movie because, uh, matter of fact, I'll play the movie opening first. A multiverse. A multiverse. We have the technology to travel between universes. But travel is highly restricted and policed. Okay. You heard what he said. He said, we have the ability, the technology to travel. It's not one universe. There's a multiverse. Okay, I mean multiple universes. Okay, and we have the ability, the technology to travel from universe to universe, but travel is restricted. And what is that talking about, man? What, how, what do we know that from? Okay, that's not reality. But what is reality is, is this. We always ask, where is the future going to take us? But the real question is, where are we going to take the future? No closed doors, no walls. Holy mackerel, this is unbelievable. We may have brain surgeons in Edinburgh operating on patients in New Zealand. You said emotions, feelings, memories. Imagine a world where we are represented the way we want to be. So you see what the agenda is right there. And where this movie, the one, let me pull it up for you. One movie directed by James Wong, starring Jet Li, Carla Gugino, and Jason Statham. Okay. This is the movie. Okay. If any of you have seen it, good action film, good concept of a movie. You know, seems like sci-fi action, sci-fi it says, right? Well, that's coming to play in reality now. And in the movie, it says, uh, the, the premise or whatever, the movie says, in a stunning dual role. Yeah, because Jet Li plays two characters, plays two versions of himself. And in this metaverse, you can't tell me that you can't just sign into a different uh, Facebook account. And now you can be, if you have one as a man, you have one as a woman. Now that they're making this genderless thing going on, you know, you can be whatever you want. He had one where he was, he was, um... Uh, an alphabet. He had another one where he was a police soldier. You know, he had another one where he was a uh, uh, a criminal. Okay, and I'm gonna let them tell it. It says, uh, "International star Jet Li portrays Gabriel Yu Law, a police officer confronted with a sinister form of himself, escaped from an advanced parallel universe, and intent on killing Gabriel. His alter ego's hunt culminates." In a, fear, a fateful battle between good and evil that changes Gabriel's perception of reality and forces him to examine the evil hidden within himself. Okay? And it's funny how they word that because that's almost not what the 
the movie's about. And basically in the movie, and I'll go to some images on it. All right. Let's see if they show anything. But in the movie, he really pretty much just uh, is fighting himself. But there's like 23 universes. And what happens is um, as you kill one of yourselves, that energy goes into another you know, he said, instead of having 23 bottles, I've eliminated, you know, the other bottles and put them all into one. And that was, so he would be, but he became faster, smarter, stronger. Okay. He pretty much has spiritual power. So you see where all this is going in implication. I believe the last time I talked about this movie was a spiritual, uh, spiritual power, uh, angle of it. But now you also see this metaverse. Okay. Being able to travel world to world. OK, and, and spoiler alert. Right. And the end of this movie, his wife had died. You know, his friends had turned on him and everything. So they sent him back to a, a different universe that was similar to the one that he was from, that the guy had already uh, the version of himself already killed the, uh, the somebody, you know, the other version of himself from that world already. OK, sent him back there. You know, and then things at, at a certain time. It was a future time, but he sent him back. You know, you'd have to see the movie to see the details of the movie, but not a bad watch. Um, but just to understand, this is what they're creating out there, okay? This devil's creating scenarios to where you don't really have a... Uh, matter of fact, this is how I'll do that. I'll play the brother's video in this. And then playing this video, um, it'll it'll explain everything what they're really doing. Bear with me. Okay, so I um I try to, I'll try to post the, the brother's video. If a time interest of time, I won't be able to uh, play it right now. But pretty much, uh, brother did an excellent video from years ago. And uh, if I can add it in or put it in the description, Lord willing, I will. But I'll try to upload it as well. But um, it goes right into this. The control of this metaverse or multiverse. And it said, but travel's restricted. Yeah, because it's the control. It's the control of it, okay? And so in this control of it, this is what they're doing. This is creating the, the metaverse. is creating the image of the beast. The way of life that the people will have to live, Okay? And the beast controls it. What's the beast? These NATO EU unions, uh, the European Union, these NATO countries that the, that the Edomites rule, okay? And they're trying to control the whole world with this, okay? And they've already complied you and mandated you into submission, okay, with the, the pandemic. So this is uh, Revelation 13, I'm sorry, verse 15. And he had power to give life to the image of the beast, how they have that with technology and what they call science. Okay. That the image of the beast, the way of life. Okay. That this is of the beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship. The image of the beast should be killed. If you don't tap into this, 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 this image, this way of life, this system. Okay. Another, another movie that ties into it, the matrix. If you don't tie into the matrix, or this multiverse from the one, okay, you should be killed, man. Why? It says, and he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. So if you don't have the, the implant, the karagma, if you will, okay, then you can't participate, which means you can't eat, you can't work, you can't survive. Okay, your freedoms are pretty much gone already anyway. Okay, your liberties are gone. You know, they're telling you what's essential and what's not. Going to church is not essential. Going, going, you know, to certain stores are not essential. But it's essential to be able to go to Walmart. You still go to Walmart, though. But other places and small businesses are shut down. Okay, it's, it's unbelievable, right? But then you can, But if you have it, then you can go. You know, then you can go to sporting events and so on and so forth. Okay, you see the system of control. And what they're going to do is they're going to appease you by squeezing you from going to anything to putting you into a system where 
If you want to experience something, you got to go into the metaverse. Okay, you got to pretty much log in and put your information in so they can read who you are, read your status, okay, and so on and so forth. And then don't be surprised when they add the, uh, the credit social, school, social credit score in there, all right? It says that no man might buy or sell, save he that hath the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right, you got to have that implant. So, um, great movie, shows a lot of spiritual power, you know, the speed and the, the movement. One of my favorite scenes in the movie was when he was moving so fast that everything else was in slow motion. He had like, he looked at one guy and he was pulling his gun out. And he, he realized, I don't have to move on him yet. I got time to, to kick two other people <laughs> and then get over there and get him before he got his gun out. You know, it was a very, very good scene. So check the movie out, look at it with a spiritual eye, you know, and you'll see that the control of the system, they downplay that. But in these movies, it's the control of the system that's so uh, uh, prevalent as an undertone in the movie. You know, when you when you see it with a spiritual eye, you'll see that that's something because they're going to court and they're doing all these things. But the main point is that you're under the control of a uh, of the um, of the system. All right. So with that, I'm gonna close out giving all praise and glory to the Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Rakhakudash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto you, men and women out there who have changed your life towards righteousness, that you may earn your salvation in these lads and dark days. Okay. Lord willing, this is edifying to the next one. Shalom.